The third fire starts on the outside at the base of the four-story tower, which was above the concrete structure. All three of these areas were under complete control of the FBI. There were no Branch Davidians on the outside of that area. There was no one in the end of the building where the doors were. That's where the tanks were backing in and out since 10 o'clock that morning. There were no Branch Davidian bodies found in that area either. The gym had been collapsed moments before a fire started in the center of that gym. The FBI had complete control of every area where the fire started. The fire started in three separate areas, and the FBI knew as early as 6 o'clock that morning that there was going to be a fire. Why? Because they called the hospital and told them so. I want to close. Normally I speak for three hours. I've been touring the country recently with some of the survivors, so I have to make it brief. I want to close by saying we know who started the fire on April 19th, and we know who fired the first shot on February 28th. There may not be a tank shooting flames. There may not be all kinds of conspiracy theories about gas bombs and who knows what. But we should stick to the important facts here and what we can prove. We're living in a day when our government can commit such atrocities against its own citizens. I'm not interested in rationalizations or justifications. In my tour around the country, I've come in contact with a lot of people that have the tendency to say that the Branch Davidians deserved it. He was abusing children. He slept with young girls. He had more than one wife. Well, listen. Just because someone lives a diverse lifestyle, and even if David Koresh was guilty, completely guilty of every single crime that he has been accused of, he deserves a trial, not death by fire. And that's all I have. Well, thank you very much.